Namaste everyone. This is Shivi Goel, the author on travel and the spirited blogger. I hope you guys are checking up the blogs on spiritedblogger.com. You are checking up the content and images and reels on Instagram, author on travel, and you are not forgetting to subscribe my channel here and follow for learning, knowledge, tips. DIYs, wisdom, spirituality, and lot more. This channel is all about that. This channel is all about learning and spreading smiles. So, how many of you all have heard uh, these comments like, "You're a terrible listener. You don't listen. Hey, stop. Just please listen to me. Why aren't you listening to me? Who is a good listener? How one can become a good listener? See, it's kind of a life skill, which is which is supposed to be taught at an early age, which eventually is not the case. So it's okay. There are ways by which you can become a good listener. So we're gonna see some five six points here that how you can practice being a good listener. Yet you can be empathetic towards others. Usually the issue what I feel from my point of view is that we often tend to forget that you know when we are actually needed by someone, uh, the world is really pacing up fast. You know we are living in the world of the AI now. The books and the reading uh, has really gone down. Like people don't read. Uh, at most of the times you know the captions or the descriptions which we write on social media are not being read it's usually the you know video content or how we are talking or what are we talking is being heard and watched that's fine but being a listener being a good listener also helps because you're eventually listening it's one of the aspect of any language if you really wanted to excel in any language so so listening in any ways uh, makes you an intuitive person and an understandable person thinking of this i wanted to club these two together wherein uh, how you can be a good listener or you have to be a good listener yet you can be empathetic towards others you know you need to be there for someone when someone really needs you or need your help or support so let's directly dive into that so the first one is paying attention now paying attention is actually putting yourself uh, into others shoes you must have heard it a lot of times how to do it try to put yourself into other shoes be attentive the intent should be to listen put your phone away maintain a sort of eye contact so that the other person thinks that i'm being cared about i'm being heard try to also understand their perspective because when you think and put yourself into their shoes you're going to be able to understand their point of view their or uh, their thought process in this way you'll be able to connect more so you will be actually listening to them yet you can be empathetic and they would feel that oh we are being cared about the second one uh, what i feel is you need to be an active listener now just don't become a listener become an active listener now listen attentively intuitively to the person or to whomsoever you are listening to give an undivided attention listen to them actively and pay full attention to the conversation what is going on this way the person would not feel being judged yet at the same time he or she would feel that my conversation is being validated by being heard so i think practice being an active listener is really important next is practicing patience now practicing patience and being a good listener is kind of a hard quality but we can achieve it okay it's important to be patient with the person to whom you're listening to and to be patient with yourself don't just interrupt don't just rush into the conclusions and conversations just take a moment step back and listen this will also help to show compassion towards others next what you can do is you can also ask some questions but have patience as i mentioned so what you can do at the end of the conversation when the person is talking or taking pauses you can ask some questions if the person is ready to answer this is also one of the way where you can show that the person is being heard you know and you are active in the conversation so it's an intermingled process which you may follow and this will help okay the next one is using non verbal cues now what is non verbal cues uh while in the conversation what you can do you can use some non verbal conversations to show compassion or being empathetic and to show that you are really there you know you're caring for the person it's like you know you can smile you can just nod your head or you can say hmm something of that sort or maybe gestures by the hand you know so these non verbal cues help uh, the other person to know that again the person is heard being a part of a conversation and you are there i think the last will be the follow up now what is a follow up usually in professional life how we follow up for other things right so this is the follow up uh, to that person so 
just make a courtesy call or a text follow up and let them know that are you doing okay are you okay how are you feeling today and let them know that you are still there if the person needs to be heard wrapping up the video i just wanted to say that uh, being kind being compassionate being patient being honest and being true to yourself is really important in any sort of relationship these are some life skills which we uh, ignore which we were which we are not taught in the school and it is really important hence being a good listener and showing empathy towards others build a strong relationship in your personal and professional life try practicing these simple and basic steps in your daily conversations just remember them condition your mind to all these simple steps and you know if you keep on practicing 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 you will be a better person you'll be loved you will love you you shower love and kindness and compassion to others and you'll have all the best abundance of your life thank you so much for tuning in guys listening and showing empathy skills can be developed through patience and perseverance don't forget it every individual is beautiful every individual has all the means to spread smiles so start practicing these simple tips and oh, that will really gonna help you in life don't forget to subscribe the channel follow me on social media write to me on my website read my books they're all about positive change women empowerment nature love life everything about this beautiful life which god has given us don't forget to comment on how you feel about it and if you have had some experiences it's always beautiful to know signing off now i'll see you in the next video thank you so much namaste